Guys, Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you another TFT video, and I'm playing in a tournament. This is the second game. The first game, I tried forcing Zed, and I got a nice fourth. So, hopefully, hopefully, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll uh, play a bit better. And, uh, yeah, let's have some banter, yeah. <laughs> There was a KO3 player last game. So I just play standard. I think glove is better than bow. Or armor. Rod's fine too. Tear is actually not, not the worst. And yeah, cloak and belt are the worst, I think. Because if you get double cloak or double belt early, it's just like so effing bad. So, 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 so bad. So definitely try to avoid that. Definitely try to avoid getting double cloak or double belt. But apart from that, it's pretty good. Wait, what? Ooh, we can try... Uh... Vanguards? Vanguards of Nico. I'm playing. I'm playing off meta comps right now, just so you guys know. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't pick up the the Garen. I should have picked up the Gagarin, Mister Gagarin. Mr. Gagarin, Mr. What's up, Mr. Gagarin? Let's go Vanguard Mystic just just for fun. Six, eight, six, eight, nine, ten. So let's build a start building our Nico. Just get uh, tears and rods for Nico. Tears and rods. Tears and rods is what Nico wants. Oh, nice loss. I just int. I just int. I think it's fun. Like from this side, he might be able to kill a unit. Might be able to. Probably not kill the jacks though. Nice dodge. Oh, 
Almost kill the Jax, almost kill the Jax. Maybe with the Rod or the Tear you could have killed it, but obviously I wanna... How are you losing more than me? Oh, he's just playing an even weaker board. What are you, like, just econ up, man. If you're inting, just econ up, bro. Like, I know I'm inting, but I'm at least econing, you know? You int and econ. Int and econ. I'm scared. Akali's too strong. <laughs> Akali's way too strong. If I play Akali, I, I beat this guy. Yeah, if I play Akali, I beat half of these guys. <laughs> Spatula, or I guess I want a rod. So if rod, I can make either death cap or I can make... Um Jeweled Gauntlet and Hextech. Maybe she needs some healing. It would be it wouldn't be terrible. <coughs> but I mean, yeah, whatever. We shall see. I don't know what this guy's doing. Like, how do you not have econ at least? At least have econ if you're entering. At least have something, man. At least have something. But this guy, what are you even, why would you, oh, why would you slam these items? How do I lose to this? How do I, I have to take the Wukong out if I want to lose to this, yeah. Now imagine I was playing Chosen Wukong here. Kind of strong. This I already played. This is strong enough. Yeah, these guys are, should be strong enough to beat me. Yeah, this guy should be strong enough to beat me. Although he hasn't slammed any items, so that's why I can't slam. But this inting is good practice. It's good practice inting like this. I like how, how Bro has the shield. <laughs> Bro has the shield behind Wukong. <laughs> get behind Brom, but Brom is in front of you. Oh, well, then get behind Brom doesn't really work when Brom is in front of you, but yeah. <laughs> So let's go Vanguard Mystic. Find that Nico. Find that Nick Nick. Nick 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 Nick. I mean I can just pivot into into Puffy the Magic Dragon, whatever I find.
I'm probably gonna, yeah, I can sell the Wukong and just see what I what comp I find. But with these items, it's either Puffy or Nico. No other options really. Actually, gonna lose this. Yeah. Oh, he actually won. Good for him. All right. So I'm pretty sure it's some sort of some sort of magic comp. That can work as well. Actually, I can make that. We saw the Wukong, we saw the Wukong, we go to 6, we roll it down, we see what we hit. So we buy this for sure, for the Elder Pivot, if I want to go Elders. That's level 6. <laughs> Is this guy inting on purpose or not? I don't understand what that guy's doing, but whatever. Still on the side of my comp. I could probably pick that up. I could have probably picked that up, but I want to see what will come my way. That's okay, actually. The Vigar's fine. Slayer, is that nice? Elderwood, there we go. Like that, his dragon, not mine. I thought that was my dragon. <laughs> I thought that was my dragon. Shit. <laughs> Gunblade. Gunblade. All right now, I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna level up. Wait, I thought I sold something. Then I sell enough to get the. Oh, I got the forty, not the fifty. All right. I need one more Elderwood. I can go Vigar as well. Let's go Vigar. I guess I go Vigar here. Unless I find Puffy, I can go. If I don't find Puffy, I go Vigar, yeah.
So this is how far you can get without some, without selling items. It's insane. I haven't made a single item. Wow. So obviously I want Gunblade. I want uh, Jeweled Gauntlet. Want to make some econ as well if I can. Want to bring a third mage. I think this comp is just too strong. Oh, nice. My items are complete shit, though. Items are complete shit. This comp is too strong and too easy to force. Do I prefer this over, over this? I think this is better. Oh wait, how am I beating this guy? I inted so hard. But I inted so hard, I couldn't int even, I couldn't int more. Like, I couldn't play worse than that. I'm just surprised, like, I'm just trying, trying different ways. I would never approach the ladder like this, but it's a tournament, so I can try out different strats. Like, he's not even repositioning. I don't understand this. Like, I see that you're over here, so I move to this side. And uh, in my bracket, this guy would actually move. In this bracket, he's just, like, chilling on that side.
which gives me immense positioning advantage. And thanks to my immense positioning advantage, I might stand a chance. Like, positioning is not that hard, guys. Positioning is not that hard. You just look where other people's units are and think about what can happen if you don't move your units, right? If I hadn't moved my unit, I would have gotten shit on. We don't want that. We don't want to get shit on, right? So, I didn't move my unit. I mean, I moved my unit away from the asshole because the asshole could hurt me. Easy enough, right? You move it away from your asshole, and you're fine. Like, 3 star is kind of enticing, but I'm not 100% sold yet, so... Also, I'm holding out for a spatula, which might be... Which might be kind of dumb, but... Did he move? No, 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 it's a different guy. Doesn't have Katarina. Nice. Samurai was really good. We let him have it on the carousel. We let him have it, so we get punished for letting him have a free Samurai. Do I play the Yo next? I can level up for Yone, I think. It's probably the best call. He played that last game. This guy is a... Uh, I don't know. This guy is, is Grandmaster. Somehow he's managing to force... Uh, he's <laughs> managing to force a comp. That's interesting. Make it what? What are you talking about, bro? Okay, maybe I entered too hard. It's just good to, to test limits. Oh! Yeah. Streaming for three viewers, man. <laughs> I'm going to stream for as many viewers as I, as I like. You can't make me stream for more of your viewers. I kind of need two star puffy would be kind of useful. GG. 
Wow. Okay, so I hinted too hard. I couldn't I couldn't hit. Okay. So inting completely is not worth it. Inting completely is not worth it. So like you have to make some items and make some commitments. This is like um relatively low skill lobby. There's like a few grandmasters here. Apart from that, just like master players and below. So even in like low skill lobbies like this, you can still get you can still get clapped if you if you int too much. So that was that was a good limit test. That was a good limit test. I'll go for first uh, next game. So yeah, good to know. Good to know.